What's up guys, I know during this time many of you are lamenting the fact that you can't go outside and do some of your favourite outdoor hobbies. I know golf is a favourite of many, especially mini golf which can be a lot of fun with the kids. Well perhaps golf with your friends might be the next best thing. This review was written by our man on the website Jason and the video is narrated and edited by myself Jordan. These are his words, not mine, let's see what he thinks. Playing miniature golf with your friends on your Switch? That sounds like a grand old time, right? Well, in golf with your friends, you can do just that. During the pandemic, going to an actual real mini golf course is impossible. So the next best thing is to play some wild putt-putt in the comfort of your own home. But is golf with your friends worth the club and ball rental fee? Or is this another indie game destined for the eShop black hole? Let's find out. Golf with your friends is a miniature golf simulator. For those who are unaware of mini golf, it's an offshoot of the sport of golf that focuses solely on the putting aspect of its parent game. Well, this game takes the idea of mini golf and turns it on its head by presenting the player with extra absurd levels that could never actually exist and give the player customization options to create an even more bizarre game of miniature golf that defies physics and reality. First of all, the game controls are quite casual. What I mean by that is that it's just very easy to control. So much so that my five-year-old daughter figured out how to play this within a minute and with absolutely no instruction. You simply use the right stick to change the direction, left or right, and the left stick to dictate the amount of power you will use and the A button to execute your setup. Because it is mini golf, a lot of the setups will require specific angles and timing in order to get in or near the hole. Just because the controls are simple does not mean the game is easy. Mini golf is the game of wild obstacles, weirdly placed walls, and actions that you will never see in a proper game of golf. And golf with your friends is no different. Applying that geometry you learned in grade school is going to pay off dividends here, since human error is not taken into consideration while playing. As I said, controls are simple, which makes this a much easier game of putt-putt. But this ain't your normal game of putt-putt. What we have here are an assortment of wild stages ranging from relatively normal miniature golf courses to full-on battlefields. The different courses are all a lot of fun too and provide significantly different experiences. Sure, some of the more bizarre stages may come across as a little bit insane and maybe a bit unpredictable, but they are still fun. Players who are experts at angles will easily fall victim to bad RNG, which evens the playing fields to you know some degree. But there are some holes that require a lot of the player. And these are the ones that I was quite disappointed in. It is one thing to traverse your ball around a series of corners and jumps, but it is another thing altogether to jump from platform to platform only to have to fly your ball, yes, fly your ball to the appropriate area just to land on the green again. For such a casual game, some of these areas require a whole lot more from the player than normal. Another weird thing that is naturally in settings is timing the player. I found that rushing the player hurt the gameplay quite a bit, and massively penalizing players for taking a bit more time seems, you know, massively unfair. Thankfully, and this is true for a lot of the game's flaws, you can customize the rules and settings in a variety of ways and make an experience that fits you and your party's playstyle. Speaking of playstyles, Golf With Your Friends has some crazy modes and mods that add so much more entertainment than you would expect. There is Classic Mode, which is normal mini golf, Dunk Mode, which is basically bouncing the ball into a basketball net instead of, you know, sinking it into a hole, Hockey Mode, which tasks you to traverse the puck or ball to the goal and shoot past the keeper, and Explore Mode, which allows you to put spin on your ball and perform some wacky shots that could potentially blow everyone's minds. These different game modes and their mods that you can apply to them like ball jumping, gravity adjustment and you know ball shapes, sizes can make some great laughs between regular sessions. And since this game literally has with your friends in the title, you should be encouraged to know that you can really play with your friends. Up to 12 people can play both online and offline lobbies. Unfortunately, I could not test a full 12 player lobby online, but the online games that I did play were a lot of fun and I had no problems. For offline play, the developers decided to go a unique route and only use one controller for all the players. So you will need to agree on which controller you're using and then pass it around. It's a unique approach, but since it does allow for 12 players, it kind of makes a lot of sense.
In terms of audio, the music in golf with your friends is pretty, well, generic. The simple chimes playing are soothing and create a decent atmosphere for the gameplay, uh, but I would have loved more music than what is provided. Sound effects are pretty spot on uh, when it comes to the normal sounds of mini golf, but I have to say that the goofy sound effects on stages like Candyland and Worms were wildly entertaining. The Worms course especially had me grinning ear to ear so many times, especially their yelling as bombs are dropped and the sounds of hallelujah when the holy hand and grenade explodes quality stuff thanks to team 17 in terms of visuals and performance the game looks fine i personally think the art style is a bit too generic for most of the courses but when it comes to games like this i honestly don't expect too much in regards to visuals however the worms course is awesome you can tell they put a lot more love and attention into that one than any other courses in the game but it makes sense worms you know it's team 17's baby and they always do the brand justice Physics are a bit strange at times, especially when interacting with things out of bounds. Some holes require you to bounce your ball off something that is technically out of bounds, but you know it seems like some of these objects follow different laws than the walls within the course. I also experienced a lot of slow texture loading, even after long loading screens prior. It does not affect the gameplay at all, but it is noticeable and rather ugly when it sits like that for a few seconds. In terms of value, golf with your friends is going to set you back $19.99 in the US and I'm having a difficult time with that price. On the one hand, you are getting a really fun game that could possibly supply dozens of hours worth of gameplay, but you know, on the other, that is a premium price for an indie game these days. Uh, I think for those who enjoy a quality round of digital putt-putt, this game will serve its purpose greatly. For those who only enjoy miniature golf casually, I don't think that this game will be worth that price. There are a good amount of cosmetics cosmetic unlocks to customize your ball like top hats and uh, dinosaur skulls so that may keep some playing. Uh, the different modes and mods may also keep the replay value of certain courses fresh so surely the value of this game lies largely on the taste of the individual. For me, as a man that was born in the mini golf capital of the world, Myrtle Beach, I have to say that this scratched that itch that I did not even know I had and I will absolutely be playing this more with my family and my friends. Before we get into the final verdict for Jason, don't forget that if you're new here, click that subscribe button and that little bell notification. We will have another golf game review coming in the next few days, plus plenty of other good stuff too that you won't want to miss. Alright, overall, Golf With Your Friends is at its best when you're playing with others. Each of the courses are fun and unique, and the different game modes and mods that you can apply add so much to the game. It may not look the best or feel the best, but the game is still highly entertaining and accessible. It may not be as fun as the real thing, but considering the current climate and the inability to go out in public freely and enjoy a nice round of mini golf, Golf With Your Friends is the next best thing as long as you really enjoy mini golf it is a 7 out of 10 okay thanks very much to jason for this great review of golf with your friends plus big thanks to our youtube members who help support the show including our executive producers dane wilkinson god of resin and jonathan rumor be sure to stick around in a couple of days for our review of what the golf i'm looking forward to that review myself it looks mental we hope to see you guys there take care